everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video I'm super excited about because I'm gonna be sharing with you an apartment decor haul. I am moving into my second apartment fourth space in the past four years. I definitely have most of the things I need, but I did pick up a couple of things in prepping for everything. And I wanted to share with you too, where I bought things so that you can kind of take inspiration from saving a little bit of money, you know? could be good. This past year I lived in my sorority house where all I had to bring was my desk chair and obviously all my stuff. But the year before I lived in an unfurnished apartment and I'm living in an unfurnished apartment again this year. You guys don't know by the way, I am a rising fourth year at the University of Virginia and I make college and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new. Basically though with unfurnished apartments, obviously I have to buy everything and between my last apartment and this apartment, I actually got rid of a lot of stuff or my dresser was acquired from by my brother. My desk was too small for me after working from home for the past year and a half. So things came up. Basically, I had to almost refurnish the entire thing. Great. And I wanted to do so obviously on a budget. If any of that sounds interesting to you, definitely keep on watching and subscribe if you're new because tomorrow marks day one of my move-in vlog. So definitely stay tuned for that whole series. But yeah, let's get right on into it. Like guys, when I tell you I bought this sheet set way back in like October, that's crazy, right? This year I had a twin bed, which you know, it was fine. I had no reason to buy, be buying a queen sheet set at Target in October, but I saw this pattern and I just knew. It's like this light blue cheetah pattern chef's kiss that's totally me also if you guys have seen my room tour from this past year i have these like super light gray textured cheetah pillows so i feel like that's just gonna work great together and my colors are definitely like just gray and blue always so if i can find them still i will link them down below for you guys and then the other thing that's not from ikea that's sitting right here is a duvet cover so i actually ordered this from amazon and i was honestly pretty wary of doing so if i'm going to invest in like anything for my room it'll be bedding because obviously you sleep with that on your face on your body like big napping gal big sleeper gal like sleep is so important to me so i obviously want to make sure that i'm really comfy so i'm going to take my duvet insert from here thankfully i didn't have to pay for that and then i just paid like 20 bucks or so for this had really great reviews it's from nestle so i actually went to ikea last weekend and the whole reason i went was to get a dresser because my brother actually co-opted mine in between second year and now he needed a different dresser for his room for more space and i I actually went to Ikea and bought the exact same dresser again. It's the Hemnes eight drawer, I think, six drawer. I don't know, I'll link it down below. It's really great. It held up so well and has so much storage. I highly recommend if y'all are moving into a college apartment, definitely if you have to buy a dresser yourself, get a tall one and not a long one like I have here behind me. It's great for like a childhood bedroom, but if you wanna have more space, the long one's definitely just gonna save you so much more space. That's definitely like worth the money for me, although you can find them on Facebook Marketplace for a lot cheaper if you're looking to keep it on the cheaper side. If I've learned anything in this, in furnishing like an apartment or anything like that, Facebook Marketplace, place to be. And I'm thinking since that has black knobs, something fun I could do would be to get like these little gold tea pools. I can link some down below that I found, like a brushed gold and just replace all the handles on the dresser because the dresser is actually very excitingly going to be mine after graduation. So just wanna customize it a little bit. Then I could also replace the handles, little poles on my dresser. It's actually holding this camera right now. I don't know, it makes it look like less Ikea and more customized. Speaking of gold, I'm looking at all the gold in front of me right now. And you know, my parents were not Ikea with me. I had my credit card in hand. Liv and I were together. Like things got a little out of hand, but not, nothing crazy. I picked up some things I probably didn't need, but I got them anyways. I got these two frames. They're 12 by 16. They're both gold and they're just fabulous. For the price of $10, you really can't beat it. I'm probably going to do some kind of like digital art and just get that printed or even just like printing my own on a piece of cardstock. Is that ratchet? I don't know. These just like make such great decor and I feel like I can totally find something to go in them. And I'm thinking they could maybe go on either side of my window. I don't know where I'm gonna put them in my room yet, but I have tons of wall space. I just think they're a great addition. So I'm so excited about that. These might be my favorite thing that I bought. I just, you guys know I love blue. You just know it. They were in the kitchen section and I just love like the patterns on the inside. So freaking cute. I honestly feel like these can be obviously used for like kitchen wear, but you can also like put your rings in this, although I only wear one ring, or like earrings, little jewelry dish, something like that, or you could pop one on a desk. This is just amazing. This is, this is me, you know? 
I just love it. Then going along with the kitchen wares kind of theme, I got these two clear coffee mugs. I have always wanted clear coffee mugs. I feel like YouTube started me on that circa 2015, but these were only like three bucks a piece. So I really couldn't pass it up. And I was like, okay, that's definitely cheaper than anything I'd be getting on Amazon. So I got two of these. I didn't go crazy. I just got two, but I love that. I also got three more Ikea bags, and if you guys don't know, well, I feel like this is an every college moving tip video ever, but if that's the one tip I can give you today, use Ikea bags to move in and out of wherever you're going. They are just the best thing since sliced bread, and at a buck fifty, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. You can also get the kinds that zip, which are really helpful for like shoes or just like random stuff, random stuff. And I like that they're like this like wipeable material, so they're not... I don't know, they're not duffel bags. I feel fine putting like clothes obviously in duffel bags, but like bathroom stuff, that's gonna leak. You want it to be an Ikea bag. And I got three, cause they were $1.50. How could you not? Then this was actually not my purchase, this was Liv's, but it somehow ended up in my bag. It's mini cheese board. Isn't she cute? Like a cheese board for one vibe. Yeah, that feels right. Also the lighting's so weird, hold on. Mm, I feel like my editing self's gonna hate myself. We're going with it. Okay, I'm sorry, this is way too blowing. We're just gonna go with this. I hope this looks fine. And if not, we can just ignore it. Okay, so then, you know, I just went nuts. Just kidding, I got one thing in the fake plant section. I got this little guy, which is just super cute, like if you're looking here, but then if you look at the actual plant, it looks so stupid. So I actually got this little gold thing. I think this was like two bucks. This was like four, something like that. And I just pop it in here and it looks just so fun, right? So I'm thinking I'm gonna put this, obviously the side facing out on my desk or something for it to hang down on the standing desk. We'll get to that in a second. Obviously I love the gold. Clearly we're getting like gold, blue, gray, white, like that's my vibe. This is random. I got a $2 milk frother, a little handheld milk frother. One, because I like frothy coffee, that rhymes, but we're gonna have an espresso next year, so that doesn't really explain why I have this. But two, if you don't like carbonation like me, life hack, put your white claw, put your truly, put your whatever in like a frother for an espresso or get a handheld frother. Carbonation's gone. Are you joking? My stomach pain, gone. Yes, 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 for $2, absolutely yes. You can catch me at a pregame frothing my white claw. So two more things. These white bins that are like two bucks a piece, they're so fabulous. These are great for underneath your bathroom sink, underneath the kitchen sink, total cleaners, anything, anything they can hold it. You know what I mean? And then last but not least, for $8, I got this little pot lid organizer, which I just fully see this working for me. You can also put pots in it, but I'm probably just gonna put the lids in there just to organize everything. And I think this is gonna be super helpful, especially, especially in a shared apartment between like four girls. Very easy for things to get disorganized. And I feel like this will promote some organization. We have a lot of pots and pans, so I feel like that will just be so helpful. That's kind of all I got from Ikea. Now I'm gonna share with you guys a couple things that I actually, well, I do have them downstairs, but they're in boxes and heavy, so they're gonna stay there. But I just wanna share with you guys a couple things that I've bought for my apartment that I got on the relatively cheap side. Furnishing an apartment, furnishing, whether it be college or after post-grad. I know post-grad's gonna be so expensive. I can't even think about that. It's so expensive between moving costs and paying for the apartment and furnishing the whole freaking thing. It's expensive and especially if you want it to look nice and it can get really expensive really quickly. So I pretty much had to rebuild my bed from the ground up this year. We got rid of my mattress and bed frame the past year because it was my dad's from college. So it wasn't really comfortable. For me, the best setup that I found that's like cheap but still I obviously want it to be cute and I am willing to spend like $100 on a headboard for my room to just look more put together. That's just me. The setup that I'm gonna have this year and kind of what I had last year is a bed frame and a headboard rather than a whole bed set. I found that that's just so much cheaper. So the bed frame I got from Costco actually this year, they have one online for like 60 bucks or so, but the one in store was 40. It's actually a Harvard bed frame, which means that it can go from twin to king. It can be any size, which that's like the best case scenario because I'm pretty sure I'll have a queen after school, but I'm not sure. And I'm gonna have a queen next year. So that's gonna be really helpful. And then I have from last year or two years ago, I guess now, oh my God, my gray headboard that I ended up getting from Home Depot, but they had it on Amazon, Target, Walmart, a ton of different sites. I think it's always good to just Google whatever you're about to buy and see like, where you can get it elsewhere. I also have the Capital One shopping extension on my computer. 
that's very helpful for coupon codes as well doing that and then throwing like a bed skirt underneath that just kind of gives it that like put together look without it being as expensive so that's kind of how I did it another thing that I obviously had to buy for this was a bed spring a bed spring a box spring I believe that I got that from Amazon I can confirm and I'll link whatever I got down below it was really pretty and expensive for a box spring and it folds up really nicely so currently sitting in my garage and then the last thing I had to buy was a mattress and this I honestly I don't know how good quality this mattress I bought was it had pretty good reviews most of the people liked it except for like a couple it was $165 so <laughs> you guys know anything about mattresses that's like so so cheap we'll see if my back if I have like permanent back problems after this year I actually got it from Target it was on a big sale for Memorial Day it's usually like 270 so I got a hundred dollars off there and then obviously it's $165 for a mattress so that's really good basically I wanted to be as cheap as possible while not being like horrible horrible and something that could be boxed up on the way there just because I didn't want to have to get a u-haul any sooner than I had to I'm planning on potentially getting a topper for it I have a mattress topper from first year that I had obviously this past year and then first year whenever I had a twin bed it's from Amazon I can link that down below because guys I like never slept better and I never sleep better than when I'm in a twin bed because I have that mattress topper on it. It's so comfortable. I'm really thinking about buying the queen size version of that and then obviously I could take that wherever I go. After school, we'll see about the mattress thing. That could be bad, but it could be good. You know, it could be good. The re most of the reviews said it was good, so I'm holding out for the best. So then I needed a desk. I didn't need a new desk, but I really wanted one. This past year, I've spent a lot of time at my desk. I'm looking at it right now. It is so small like literally so small it's less than like 20 inches deep which for a desk is so shallow and I have obviously my laptop but I also have my external monitor and I've just found for both YouTube stuff and school stuff I do a lot of stuff with the two monitors I just always use it I did think that getting a desk would be a good investment and especially because I'm doing a virtual internship this summer I was like oh my gosh I got a standing desk from Costco and I will try and find it in Lincoln down below I can find it at another place in Lincoln down below because I I don't think that they had it online but I can give the brand and everything like that it was $250 which is expensive for sure but for something that I'm going to be sitting at and using every single day this summer I'm gonna set it up first in my room here actually because I can't work on this desk in this desk much longer it's just very like constraint I just I need a bigger workspace you can like set the couple settings it has like a charging pad on it has USB ports it's like a really nice desk so I'm super excited for that I feel like that's a worthwhile investment into both this year I can use it after school and like that I know I will use you know what I mean two more things things so first off I you know I'm such a decoration fiend and I know this is just so unnecessary and I'm fully aware I'm fully aware I got a pink rug and it's cute she's rolled up but uh she's really cute I'll insert a picture on the screen I've just wanted a pink rug for, rug for the past year I think I saw a TikTok seven eight nine months ago like a long time ago she had like all white bedding pink rug and I was like that's me I ended up getting it from Amazon it was like 160 bucks 170 probably with tax especially considering usually I pay like 110 for rugs and that's like a lot for me but it's just so great guys you just I have a vision and it's all gonna come together and everyone's gonna be like I get it now right just wait so last but certainly not least is an item that I actually got for free when we were cleaning out my grandfather's house I stumbled across this gold bamboo mirror which like totally pottery barn vibes there was actually a frame and a mirror and I originally was gonna get the mirror but I actually ended up with frame my mom and I decided that was probably best size for my dresser so it's actually going to be turned into a mirror so at the moment she's a frame but I originally saw the mirror which is what spurred the frame I can show y'all a clip of the bigger one hanging downstairs because that's like same thing just different size I'm thinking I'm gonna do it vertical on my tall dresser with my tall lamp it's just really gonna bring your eyes up and also it would be really convenient I'm so excited for that and it just looks it looks like super bougie and expensive but it's just not so Ugh, but that is all that I have to share with you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I love actually making apartment videos and like organization decorating videos. So if you guys like videos like that, please let me know with a comment down below. I'm going to make videos that y'all want to see. And if you guys have any requests, let me know. Like I just, I'm living for like the apartment stuff right now. I'm trying to get on a little bit more of a uploading schedule. So I'm going to try and upload every single Sunday, putting it out there. I feel like that's right. And I just feels good to me, you know, start off the week with bang. A new video for me, obviously. Yeah. So I'm thinking every single Sunday, but 
you know, give or take. That's me. I will see you guys next Sunday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.